Hello friends, how can you add audio to your OpenTunes or to Homer 2D scenes? Well, it's exactly the same as adding an image file or a video file into a scene. You just drag it into your open scene from an explorer view. Then OpenTunes will ask if you want to import or load the audio file. Importing copies the audio file into your project and uses it from there. And load just loads it from the original location. Then when you choose, it'll show the audio's waveform in its own column. And we'll look at how to work with this in a minute. But what is the right file type? Well, from a new install, you can import WAV or AIFF audio files that are 8 or 16 bit. And if you set up FFmpeg, you can also import MP3 files. And I've got a video about that linked in the description and at the end of this video. So if you've not yet set it up, you can do so after this video. But having 8 or 16 bit audio files is vital to importing them. If you import an audio file with a different bit rate, say 32 bit, then your audio file will show as a single frame on the timeline, like this. So if your imported audio file only shows as a single frame, then you need to convert it to 8 or 16 bits. And you can do that with most audio editors. Here in Audacity, which is a free audio editor that I use, to convert it, just load in your audio, then choose Export, and in the options, choose the WAV 16-bit format, and then save that. Then drag your new audio file into OpenTunes. However, for clearer audio, you might be better to use any audio that you add just as a guide audio layer to time your animation to. And then, after rendering out your animation, add your audio separately in a video editor, and not to use the audio directly from OpenTunes. And doing this will give you more control over the volume or adding extra effects to your audio. And once you've added your audio file, it'll be shown in its own column as a series of frames showing the waveform. And there's a number of ways you can play the audio. First, you can click the speaker button in the column header. You can scrub through the frames on the timeline. Or move the scrub bar that's underneath the viewer. Or you can play some of the audio by clicking and dragging along all or part of the dash part of the audio clip in the timeline. And when you release your pointer, it'll play that part of the audio. And this is really handy if you've got a long piece of audio and you're trying to time out one particular piece of animation. And you can change the volume of your whole track by clicking in this arrow in the column header and then setting the volume. But you can't adjust this over time unfortunately, so that's where you'd edit outside of OpenTunes. And your audio plays as your animation plays if you've clicked the soundtrack button that's beneath the viewer. So if that's turned on when you click play, the audio will be heard. So just turn it off here if you don't want it to play as you play back your animation. And trust me, you'll want to do this because your audio will get annoying after playing it over and over again. But even with the soundtrack button turned off, you'll still hear the audio when scrubbing along the timeline. So to stop this, you can turn off the audio by clicking the camera stand visibility button in the header. But even with it turned off this way, the audio will still render with your animation. So if you don't want it to for some reason, you just untick the render preview button in the column header. And now this audio won't render. And like any series of frames, you can edit them in OpenTunes. So first I'll rename this column so we know what the audio clip is. And drag in the other two audio clips so I've got all of them in the timeline at once. So you can move all of the frames in the clip by clicking and dragging the darker bar that's shown at the top of the audio frames. And that selects all of them and moves them all at once. So I'll just move these sounds to play at the right time. And you can also choose to highlight just some of the frames and move those by clicking and dragging to highlight them and then just drag again from the top bar to move them elsewhere. 
And this is handy if you want to adjust the timing, perhaps to space out the voices differently or the effects track to match your animation. But ideally, you'd edit the main part of your audio in an external program first, so that your imported audio is ready to animate against. And you can also remove parts of your audio by highlighting the frames and then just pressing the delete key. And finally, you can duplicate your audio clip or just a few frames using copy and paste. So again, either click the top bar to highlight all the frames or click and drag over just some of the frames to highlight those and then press Ctrl C to copy, move to the frame where you want the new frames and press Ctrl V to paste. Now that audio clip will play twice. However, there's a small thing to know about moving or deleting your audio, and that's that the audio file is buffered in memory. So after editing, sometimes the audio is played on the old buffered frames, or even not at all, if you've copy and pasted a clip. So you need to refresh that buffer. And you can do that by reloading the scene, but the easiest way is to turn the visibility of the audio column off and on in the timeline. So just press the camera stand visibility toggle button to turn it off and then back on. And now when you play your scene, you'll hear the audio. <coughs> and there is a fix for this in Tahoma 2D so that saving your scene will update the buffer. But at the time of recording, that's not in open tunes yet. So I have one final tip to share in a second. But before I do, if you found this tutorial useful, I'd love it if you click the thumbs up button and then YouTube can share this video to more people. So the last tip is regarding your scene's FPS. So when you import an audio clip, the clip is effectively cut up into the frames of your scene. So if your scene is set to 24 frames a second, the clip will be cut into 24 pieces for every second. And this means if you change your playback rate, the audio can sound strange. So instead of the scream sounding like this, if you change the playback rate down to say 12 frames a second, OpenTunes doesn't play the audio quite how you'd expect, <laughs> as it plays these pieces at the rate you originally requested. So if you do need to play your scene slower, you can fix the audio by changing the scene's actual FPS rate in the scene settings up here from the X sheet menu. So if you change the frame rate here to 12 frames a second, and now OpenTunes will recalculate the playback speed so that when you play it back, it plays back as you'd expect. And finally, as I said at the start, if you want to import MP3 files, you have to set up FFmpeg in OpenTunes. And I've got a video here showing exactly how to do it. Adding audio to your animations. That sounds like a good idea to me. So I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a Darren T. So I have one final I have one final tip to share in a second. <laughs>